pleasant Monday evening to each and every one of us. Thank you all for joining us on this another Monday night affiliates training and of course development. My name is Christopher Thomas, a fellow affiliate of the Beda the Beda family. The same aspirations and the same dreams that you know you share. Um, happy to be your facilitator for this evening. Um, many affiliates are logged in at this point in time, and we're really excited to see all of you taking time out of your busy schedules to participate in tonight's training. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're looking at a change in our operation. We're looking at improving our business in a very significant way. And for that to happen, uh, you know, we, we need to take chances. We need to plan. We need to make sure that, um, you know, we, we, we are actually working with a particular plan. Um, for those of us who are, you know, familiar with the corporate world, no organization operates without a strategic plan. And even within that strategic plan, you have your operational plan. And, of course, your daily targets and the deliverables from that so you can help the organization to achieve its overall um, strategic initiatives for the calendar year. Of course, um, you know, we are in business for ourselves, but not by ourselves. And so, therefore, a plan is important. And I said to myself, with this income that I am generating from G, if I were to go full time into this business, then it is very likely that I could hit the rank of diamond. And beyond, well, can I tell you, it took me three months later, 90 days later, through a similar plan, you know, that we're going to be talking about tonight, I was able to achieve the rank of diamond. And many other persons in the team also achieved achieve rather significant ranks as a result of that particular 90-day run. Um, since that, we haven't done any significant 90-day runs, and we want to embark on another 90-day run. And going forward, we want to be doing them um, incrementally, you know, like possibly, you know, twice per year, because trust me, it's not easy um, to do a 90-day run. And you're going to see what it takes, because it takes a lot of sacrifice to achieve, you know, to really be committed to a 90-day run and to achieve goals through the 90-day run. So my question to you this evening is, ladies and gentlemen, are you in? Are you in? If you are in and you would like to embark on this 90-day run with me, then I'd like for you to go to the chat and to say, yes, I am. That's all. Just say, yes, I am. I am interested in embarking on this 90-day run because we want to have some success, right? We want to make sure that we're growing. People here have goals. People have aspirations, and you want to achieve them. No, a 90-day run, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, is basically just a three-month period through which you're going to work assiduously to achieve a particular goal. Yes, it's a particular, it's a period, just a three-month period through which you're going to work assiduously to achieve a particular goal. So the first thing that you and I need to discuss, and we need to leave here this evening with some level of clarity on, is what is that goal that you are going to um, work towards? There are two things that I'm proposing. Number one, I am proposing that you look at the compensation plan and you look at those ranks that are there. So there is affiliate, there is, um, you know, apprentice, there's apprentice elite, there is um, supervisor, there is bronze, there is silver, there is gold, there is rose gold, platinum, sapphire, pearl, emerald, all the way up to diamond. When you look at that chart in terms of, you know, earnings, 
which of those ranks are you willing to commit yourself to achieving over this 90-day period? I want people to be really realistic. I don't want you to set for yourself a rank that you know that 90 days is not sufficient for you to achieve. I want you to be realistic in selecting and agreeing here this evening of a rank that you would like to achieve. Secondly, there are individuals who would have attained certain ranks in the past, but you have not seen, you know, those ranks, you know, um, in recent times. In other words, you may have been a platinum, but your current earnings is falling at the rank of silver or bronze or gold, and you would love to get back to platinum, right? Well, guess what happened? You can now reorganize yourself to make a 90-day run so as to, you know, re-achieve that rank of platinum again. Are you with me, ladies and gentlemen? If you are understanding fully, please drop the number seven in the chat. Very, very important for you um, to, you know, leave here with that clarity. What is this particular goal that I have for myself? Aisha, be that Jade affiliate. Is it that Aisha is going to say, listen, I'm tired of being Jade. I'm tired of going to, um, you know, for example, this year we will have our Vida Divina convention in Ontario, California. And after that convention, we'll have our Jamaica convention, um, our Jamaica regional in November. Um, when you get to that convention, Aisha, are you saying that you would want to be acknowledged as Aisha Queen, the Jade affiliate? Are you thinking about Pearl? Are you thinking about Sapphire? Are you thinking about Emerald? You're thinking about diamond, you know. Where are you in terms of your thinking? So you have to strategize around that. Um, persons who are at the rank of um, gold and you know silver, you know, where do you want to be when that time comes around? So we are we are embarking on this particular plan um, so as to ensure that people can number one achieve the rank that they desire, and number two, if you have attained a rank in the past that you are falling short of. You know, you can utilize this particular period to actually reachieve that rank all over again. Are you with me, ladies and gentlemen? Awesome. Now, interestingly, um, document that goal. That's the first thing you need to do. You need to write that goal down. Yes, whatever it is tonight, make sure you have um, pen and paper, right? Or your, um, you know, maybe your technology probably something like that and you are utilizing your technology as your, um, you know, your means of documentation. Write down tonight, ladies and gentlemen, what is it that you want to achieve over these 90 days? From the 1st of March, yes, March, April, May, to the last day of May, we're going all to the last day of May, right? And we want to make sure that people are achieving your, these ranks, right? Or whatever goal you would have desired for yourself. Now, interestingly, um, for you to achieve this particular rank, you now need to understand that there are some daily income producing activities that you need to embark on. Yes, those DIPAs. You have to make sure that there are some daily income producing activities that you are going to embark on. And of course, one such daily activity is that you must assess your business to see where you're falling short. Is it that you're falling short in sales? Yes? Is it that you are falling short in recruiting members to your team? Because by yourself, you're not going to achieve any ranks. Yes? For you to achieve a rank, remember, you need to have minimum two people active. And these people are producing just as how you are producing. So the more people you have in your pipeline, the better it is for you in terms of ranking. So if you need people and you need customers, what are some of these daily income producing activities that you are going to embark on? Number one, it could very well be that you are going to be speaking with a minimum of 10 new people 
every single day. You know, um, let me share something with you. Before I started Be The Leader, Dan Rogers, a very good friend of mine here in Jamaica visited me at my office back when I was employed um, to the 95 system. And just by having a conversation with me, she said to me, you know what, Chris? I believe you could do very well in selling life insurance. I said, really? You know, I've thought about it. It's something that is on my mind. She said, yes, I believe you could do well. And what did she do? She went to her office, and the following day, she came back to my office, and she brought me the study materials that I needed to prepare for my life insurance um, assessment. Now, having completed the assessment and got to the stage now where I'm preparing documentations to now start the process of working, she said to me, she gave me a sheet of paper and told me that I need to place on that paper 250 names of people I know that may be qualified to purchase life insurance. I was flabbergasted when she said that to me. Because in my mind, I'm thinking 250 work people. This, and listen now, if you can't produce the 250 names, the process stop right there. Yes, has anybody ever done life insurance in Jamaica? If you cannot produce the 250 names, ladies and gentlemen, if you can't document them, and she gave me a week, she said, listen, write the names down. Take a week and produce 250 names on that sheet because that is where we're going to start. We're going to teach you now how you go about prospecting these 250 people. That's life insurance for you in Jamaica. What am I saying here? You are in a business as well that requires people, Dan Rogers. So a part of your daily income producing activity, notice you say income producing activity, is that number one, you must always have a list of persons with whom you are consulting with daily and educating them about what you are doing. We spoke about that and we're going to talk about it next week because a part of our plan as well is training. And the first training is going to be on prospecting, right? So you must be producing, you know, you must, be, you must have names of individuals that you plan to communicate with on a daily basis. So whether you're communicating with these people as you're educating them to be customers or you're educating them to become business partners, but it has to be that there, have, there is a list of people. And I'm not going to tell anybody to, to, to say, oh, okay, let's agree on 10 names. Let's agree on 50 names. No, our, our goals are different. Your goal and my goal is not the same. And so therefore, I will not say to you, um, you know, you must prospect 20 people. No, right? I know what my goal is. And so therefore, I know the number of persons that I must be talking to on a daily basis. Because I told you some time ago, and people did not believe me. I said to the team that as a goal, I plan to retail 5,000 items per month going forward. Well, can I tell you? For this month already, I have done 75 items. Not 75 sachets of teas. No. But I'm talking about bundles of teas, supplements, coffee, etc. That's what I have done so far this month. 75 items that I have done. So I'm well on my way. Remember, I, started, I was only doing, I was meandering. I was doing like 10 and 15, but I took a decision. to say, well, uh, I can do more than 10. I can do more than 15. I'm capable. And I, for this month, ladies and gentlemen, today is the 27th. I've already done 75 items I have sold so far, right? Um, I saw one person applauding. I don't know why the rest of the team is not applauding, but, you know, that, that's for another matter, right? But yes. You can do it. That's the point I'm making. So what if, whenever you set a goal for yourself, you must understand that that goal comes 
with some level of production. You must be producing. You, there are things that you must be doing in order to achieve that particular goal. And of course, in our business, one of those things is that we must be communicating with people, right? So how many people do you need to be prospecting daily as customers or business partners to achieve the goal that you are currently establishing for yourself? That's what I'm. That's all I'm asking. Hmm? Document that and go ahead and get it done. And the second things that you want to be doing in terms of income producing activities is that you must be developing yourself, ladies and gentlemen. There is no two ways about it. You must be developing yourself. And how do you develop yourself? Well, guess what happened? You acquaint yourself with literature that is aligned with what you are doing, right? You acquaint yourself with literature that is in line with what you're trying to achieve. What is it that you're trying to achieve? You're trying to build a team to achieve a particular rank. You are trying to sell some products so you can achieve a particular rank, right? So what do you do? What are the literatures that you need? Well, number one, my good friend, Mr. Eric Worre has a book that says, if you want to become a network marketing professional, these are the seven things that you must do. Yes, that's a book that you must be acquainted yourself with. Our CEO, Mr. Arwan Puyo, he says, listen, if you want to become a network marketing guru, then guess what happened? We have a book that speaks to some of the principles and the strategies that you need in order to be achieving this particular goal. So personally, those are two books that I would recommend that you are acquainting yourself with. No, you may not be that type of person that is into reading like that, but you are good with all your materials. Can I tell you, Eric Worre has all of these um, principles, these seven principles, they are available in audio form on YouTube, right? Um, there are other things that are available. Um, the greatest salesman ever is available in audio form. Um, in terms of your developing your mindset, there is the, the there is um, my good friend Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich, a book that has changed my perspective on life. Remember, I told you some time ago, I was of the perspective. That is only people who are involved in certain secret societies that can earn money. That's what I thought as a young man coming up. I never knew that ordinary people like Deborah King, Dan Rogers, <laughs> you know what I mean, could earn money. I thought for you to earn money, you had to be involved in some nefarious activities, number one, or you had to be participating in some secret society, right? That was the book. That changed, even though the Bible has been telling me from day one, that as a, a man think it socially be, right? Whatever man saw that was he's going to read. I claimed that I believed the Bible, but I wasn't seeing it as the Bible was presenting it to me. But when I read Think and Grow Rich, ladies and gentlemen, my entire cranium was illuminated. And that's what I'm passing on to you today. Because we are serious. We're not going to just talk about um, this 90-day plan and we don't achieve um, our goals at the end of the day. We want to achieve them, right? Um, interestingly, as a part of our daily income producing activities, we want to also make sure that we are inviting these prospects and the customers to the place where they can be sold. And where is that? The business opportunity presentations. The business opportunity presentations, ladies and gentlemen. You want to make sure that you're inviting as many people as is possible to the business opportunity presentations. Yes, I know some of us have that particular, um, you know, mindset that if a certain presenter is not presenting, then the call cannot be effective. No, we have to cut that out because I'm telling you, every single presenter 
has their own way of presenting. They have their own styles and so on. And you do not know which presenter your audience is going to gravitate to or, you know, that presenter that you think is not effective may just be, you know, his or her best that particular night and the person that you invite is sold, right? So keep inviting, bring get the people to the presentation. Additionally, we have our health and wellness seminars that have been going fairly well so far. Um, the report from the affiliates is that, you know, product sales has increased significantly as a result of these health and wellness seminars. I want to continue them, right? We want to also incorporate some other presenters as well, because right now I'm the only one doing it. But I want to get some other people like the Kamals and, you know what I mean, the Javon and all these people, you know, to be a part of that forum as well, right? So those are the, those are four things that you need to be doing on a daily basis in terms of income producing activities. If you are doing those things, then your goal will be a lot easier to achieve. Interestingly, we, in addition to the business opportunity presentations, and the health and wellness seminars, there are other support that we want to provide to you. And at this time, I will yield to my more learned um, business partner, one of my mentors in this business, Lady Ayusha Queen, Jade Affiliate, as she will now speak to these other support systems that we're going to be implementing so as to ensure that individuals can achieve their goals. Lady Queen, if you're on, I am making you co-host, ma'am. Please um, unmute and share with us in your usual dynamic self. Lady Queen, are you here? Yes, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Uh, Chris, you do such an amazing call. Every call you do, the training, the opportunity, um, you know, everything. And so we are grateful and thankful to have you as our diamond leader leading the way for this 90 day game plan and all of the strategies that you were that you've given are phenomenal so i hope everybody was taking notes because you know um a goal what is it a goal without a plan is just a dream and so if you're looking at the next 90 days and you're thinking you know well what can i do different that i haven't already done all of it because I'm pretty sure if you had a checklist, if you wrote a checklist of everything he said tonight, you can look at it and say, no, I really haven't been prospecting 10 people a day, or I really haven't been inviting you to the opportunity calls. You'll find where your glitch is. And if you find where your glitch is, you'll be able to strategize to really sell more products and uh, hit more ranks. Y'all, the, the amount of products that Chris just said that he uh, have sold so far this month, I personally have never even done that. And I was looking at the volume of that. That's almost 4,000 in volume. So he sold enough product to almost qualify himself for silver. So can you imagine yourself doing that? See, um, you know, sight you see with your eyes, vision you see with your mind. And if you can envision yourself selling it, if you can envision yourself meeting that many people to get that amount of sales, listen, that's $1,500 in profit that he has earned from selling that amount of product. What could $1,500 do in your life? Okay. And so see it in your mind. You know, um, I was having a conversation with my mom and she was just like, you know, well, when I become successful, I'll do more. And I'm like, well, you have to do more in order to become successful. And so with that, I'm going to share that what we're going to implement for our 90 day game plan is to do a morning team huddle. It's only going to be 15 minutes where we will, our goal will be to inspire you, incite creativity within you, give you a strategy to set forth and do in your day. And every single successful uh, organization and business has a morning meeting. If you're working at, when I was a correctional officer, we had a 15 morning meeting every day. My time, my, my job didn't start till seven, but I had to be there at 648 because we had a 12 minute meeting every morning um and when i was a part of other organizations other companies we used to have morning meetings 
every morning. And so, uh, you know, I really, the idea came to me to bring it to Chris because I was listening to billionaire Grant Cardone, who's a professional trainer, has, has, has trained so many people to become millionaires in sales. And he even said every successful sales organization has a morning meeting. And so I would like to um, encourage you all to prioritize this morning meeting, which will be 15 minutes from 8.30 Eastern Standard Time to 8.45. We may run over if the conversation is getting good, but at least prioritize the 15 minutes that we are requesting of you. And that way you can try. You, The only way to beat a failure is to try. You will not know if this will work for you if you don't show up. You will not know if you can rank up if you don't do the work. You will not know if you can set yourself free and create a different trajectory for your family if you do not apply what you learn. And so um, I definitely encourage you to plug in. We're only going to do this call for 90 days. That is all we're committed to right now to help everybody be in a position mentally and physically to get to the next level. And so that's all I have. Back to you, Sir Christopher. Ladies and gentlemen, some love emojis for the queen herself, Lady Aisha Queen, um, you know, amplifying the thoughts I shared before, but also, um, you know, sharing a very, very important strategy that I believe is going to be a game changer in this process. Yes, Lady Queen, and for the rest of the people here who are, you know, in the private sector or, you know, the corporate world, we're accustomed to those puddles. Um, uh, you know, it mine used to be on a Monday morning, had to be um, meeting with, you know, your, 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 your senior manager, uh, your director, and of course, those persons that report um, to you because you want to make sure that the targets are, on, are, are in line, for example. And if anything is out of line, then we need to know what is it that we need to do in order to realign ourselves to the targets and of course <clears throat> you know very 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 important and and from there um from the from the departmental level you know or the or the unit level you know those were taking place as well very very important um for us to do it um i would love to uh kamali saying it, it would be better to start at um 7 30 um kamali saying 7 30 aisha uh, let me see, because I think she's an educator. Just suggest 30. Some persons are already at work. Oh, sound like a plan. All right, so let us take a decision, a vote, um, ladies and gentlemen, um, and, a, and a time so we can facilitate everybody. It has to be in the morning, yes? What time is best for everybody? Remember now, you don't necessarily um, need to, like, turn your camera. You can be at work and you have your earpiece in and you know you are listening into what is taking place right so let's take a vote let's see all the people for 7 30 a.m and all the people for 8 30 a.m and then we're going to do a compromise so whichever time um has more votes then that time will definitely be the winning time for the morning huddle right and aisha is saying the morning huddle is going to be five days per week monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday Right, and we are going to seek to empower the team, yes, um, towards achieving whatever goal. Remember, you know the goal that you have uh, established for yourself, right? And now we need to work assiduously to achieve the goal. What support, what additional support do you need to achieve this goal? Some of those questions you may you can ask, you know, during that particular. Um, time. Additionally, ladies and gentlemen, I want to I want to shock you at this point in time that it cannot be business as usual. It cannot be business as usual. You must understand that in order for you to be successful throughout this 90-day period, you have to make some sacrifices, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like everybody to go to the chat and type the word sacrifice. We have to make some sacrifice and what am i talking about now one of the greatest benefits to us as network marketers today is that we have the internet 
And the internet has provided us with loads of very useful platforms. There's a TikTok, there is a Twitter, there is FaceTime, there is Facebook, there is Instagram, and so many others, you know? But the truth of the matter is, I, I see it every single day where people spend so much time just scrolling to see the next bit of information that is coming through on TikTok, scrolling to see the next bit of information that is coming through on Instagram, but they are not being productive. You know, they're not being productive with the, with the, with the, with the tools that are available to you. May I say to you, to us tonight, that we cannot be doing that. We can't carry this particular attitude over into the next nine days. Or else, we're just going to be talking and we will not be achieving the goals that we have established for ourselves. So what are we going to be using our platforms to do? We're going to be using our platforms to our advantages, ladies and gentlemen. What are we going to do? We are going to be posting. So the things that people are scrolling and looking at, let it be things that we are posting. Let it be that video that you have uploaded about your business or your product. Let it be that that comment, um, you know, encouraging people to join a business or that positive thought that you have expressed, um, you know, that quotation, that Bible verse, whatever it is, let it be that. But what you are going to do is that you are going to use the platform to your benefit. Yes? One of the ways that we can do that is that Facebook allows us, guys, 5,000 friends, pardon me, maximum. My question to us is, how many of those persons have you personally reached out to to say hi when they my name is Christopher Thomas. I notice we have been friends on this platform for so some time, but we have never had a conversation. Wendell, it is indeed my distinct pleasure to be in touch with you. In fact, congratulations on the award that you achieved last week because I was just going through your um, page and I saw where you received an award, you know, for sport or whatever it was last week. A conversation will develop as a result of that. Remember, I always say that first conversation cannot be about business. That first conversation has to be connection. It has to be me trying to get to know you and you trying to get to know me. Right? If the conversation is continuing daily in your second week or your third week is when you move to the business that's the point where you get to, where you say, hey, Wendell, considering the fact that you are so good at finances, I am presently launching an opportunity that I believe is going to be the greatest financial tsunami to affect the people of Jamaica or the Caribbean. However, I would love somebody with your expertise to examine it for me to let me know whether or not you think that this is something that we should be embarking on. And you invite them to the business opportunity presentation. Right? Another thing that we want to be doing, guys, that I didn't mention before, yes, is that we want to go back to the point where people are, have, are hosting their launch calls. I have not seen anybody perplexing me in the longest while for a launch call. I don't know if people are perplexing Aisha. I don't know if people are perplexed you're done. I don't know if people are perplexed you know, um, come on. And what about you, Simone? What about you, Ken? What about you, Stacey Brooks, right? So these launch calls, very important. What are the launch calls? So all these people that you are galvanizing, you want to invite them. You are telling people that you're launching a business. Hey, listen, I am launching this business, and all I need is just your input. I just want to see to see what my business is all about and of course having seen it you can help me to make a better decision on it right you invite 50 or 60 people to a call um, that you organize you have a presenter we talk about um you know why you are launching this business where you find it so intriguing um what are the prospects for the future and then you ask the people 
to take a keen listen to you know your products. We talk about only products we're going to talk about on that launch call, right? Because you're going to be selling some stuff. So we talk about the products, right? I think um, Lady Aisha has a video that she talks about launch calls and how you go about them. I think she's posted it now, right? So that's one of the things that we want to do. But in terms of the sacrifice, if you don't wake up every single day with this particular 90-day run, being the primary thing on your mind. In other words, people are going to die. And we understand that. People are going to be unwell. And we understand that. But sometimes some of these things happen to distract us from our goals. So yes, you are giving a helping hand. Yes, you are visiting the hospital. But that's not your primary. Um, that's not the primary thing on your mind. Your primary thing on your mind is still your business. So when you get to the hospital, I you see the nurse is there. Yes, you want to invite them to the presentations. You want to talk to them about your business, right? When they get to your children's school, you want to have that conversation with the teachers as well. Whoever you are conversing with on a daily basis, you want to make sure that you are having that type of conversation. If you are with me, drop the number seven in the chat. But most importantly, where we are lacking. So while we, are, while we have our goals and the income we are cognizant of the income producing activities, the daily income producing activities, um, you know, that we need to, you know, execute in order to achieve these things. Here's what is most important. Can I tell you? Action. Ladies and gentlemen, we can come here and the 65 of us agree that we're going to be doing this. But if we do not take the daily actions, then all of this is just meaningless. It is just meaningless, and you have to go fight people. Um, to, no, we don't want anybody that you have to fight. In fact, can I tell you, I'm going to surprise you right now. What I'm going to say is going to surprise you. If you do not believe that the 90-day run is for you, do not participate. Can I say it again? If you do not believe that this is for you at this point in time, don't bother to engage the process. But for those of you who believe that, look, you need a change in your business, you need an upgrade in your business, you need a, you need a raise of pay. Can I tell you? Listen, man, jump in with everything. If it means that you must go and sit with your children, Sit with your spouse or your wife or your husband and say, listen to me, guys. Can I tell you? I believe that God, you know, wants us to achieve more. I think we are living below our privilege. And I want us to do more. I want us to achieve more out of life. In fact, I believe that if we had more than these things that you are asking for, we could have done them. But because we're, the finances is limited, we are unable to do so. Hey, guess what happened? I'm going to try to make a sacrifice over the next 90 days to achieve all of these things that we have been trying to achieve and are unable to do so because of economic reasons. Are you with me, ladies and gentlemen? That's a part of the sacrifice that we will have to make. We have to have that conversation. Yes? And even if you have a nine to five, remember, you work for eight hours of the day. The day has 24 hours, ladies and gentlemen. You may work for nine or 12 in some cases, but the day has 24 hours. What will you do with the other hours that you are not engaged with your nine to five? That's where we are. So, it's not, so the 90 day run is not for everybody. Please bear that in mind. It is only for people who are at that point in the business where you are sick and tired of being stuck at brands. You are sick and tired of being stuck at affiliate. You are sick and tired of having no business partners. You are sick and tired of earning little or no money from the business. Right? You want to make that change in your business. You want to make that change in your life so that you can be more and have more. That's the type of people I'm talking to this evening. 
So with all that has been said this evening, all that is left for us to do is to commit to the, this 90-day run. I would like for every person present here this evening to go to the chat if you are willing, if you are interested, and tell us this evening that, look, I am committed to this 90-day game plan. I am committed to this 90-day game plan. That's all I want to hear. I am committed to this 90-day game plan. Nothing more, nothing less. I am committed to this 90-day game plan. I am committed. Ladies and gentlemen, I am committed. I am committed. I am committed. I am committed. And let me care. Don't be sad if you're not committed. Don't be upset if you're not if you're not committed. All I want are the all I'm interested in now are the people who are committed. And for you who are not committed, maybe this is not the time for you. But guess what? When we do it again, you can be committed at that point in time. Maybe you have a, you have a different mindset at that point in time, right? So the first thing that I want you to do, having know the fact that you are committed is to understand this quotation that is on our screen. Here is it that my good friend Paul is saying, whatever you vividly imagine, ardently desire, sincerely believe, and enthusiastically act upon, must inevitably come to pass. In your mind, as you sit here this evening, I would like for you to suck this up like a sponge. Whatever I vividly imagine, ardently desire, sincerely believe, and enthusiastically act upon must inevitably come to pass. That's what your Bible says. Paul just borrowed it from there and, is, and has rephrased it. Yes? That is what it says. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank us for being present this evening. Most importantly, I want us to I want to thank us for recognizing that we have been living below our privilege. And we need to be at that point where we can do the things that we say that this business is empowering us to do. Yes? We can achieve the things that our children desires. And because we are not doing very well in business, we can't provide them. The house that you started, that you have not yet finished, over these 90 days, it can be done. Yes? The car that you need, it can come through this 90 day run. Hmm? That property that you saw, and you, you've been behind the property. Yes? Can I tell you? It's possible that you can use this to acquire that property. Yes? Uh, the, the vacation, that dream vacation that you so badly desire can be achieved through this particular 90-day run. Those things you want to do for your parents and siblings can be achieved through this 90-day run. At the end of this 90-day run, whichever day of the week it is, right? The following weekend, all of us are going to congregate at a location here in Jamaica. For those of you who are overseas, you will be on via Zoom. But we are going to congregate and we are going to celebrate. So if you are not in Jamaica, find a spot, whether it's a bar, whether it's a you know, whatever, a restaurant, and sit there with a couple of people and get your phone on and, uh, you know, whatever recognition is there for you. You, 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 you. you accept that recognition, yes? And you tell the people around you that, hey, listen, you know why I'm being recognized? Because on the 1st of March, I started a 90-day game plan, and this is what it has brought us so far. Yes, I have achieved the goal that I set out for myself, and I am being celebrated. All right? So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are here with me this evening, we have six minutes, and you feel like you want to unmute your mic and chime in, 
no problem. Please to raise your hand and just to let me know if you have anything to add to this particular presentation this evening. I am all in. I'm excited about this 90-day run. I can't think of anything else right now outside of this 90-day run. All I am thinking about is just the 90-day run. So is there anybody that would like to add anything to what we shared this evening? Um, if not, we're going to call it a night. But if you want to share, man, raise your hand and feel free. You know what I mean? Because, baby, this is what you needed all along to really galvanize and to propel your business to the next level. So don't be afraid. You know, when it comes to Monday night training, we're not into the business of, 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 of being lukewarm. We are either hot or we are cold. And for the most part, we want to be hot. Sir Rogers, what do you have to say, sir? Good evening, sir. The Christopher Lyon Thomas. The only thing I've got to say is that I approve this message. <laughs> you said it all. I, there's, I don't know. I can't say anything more. I approve this message. And let's, let's do this, everyone. Night to day run. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you very much, sir. A message approved welcome, by sir. Don Focus Rogers. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get it done. Who else approve of this message? Unmute your mic, man. Let me unmute everybody. Uh, hold on. Let me make everybody unmute. Please. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Let us start, man. Please unmute your mic. Feel free to unmute your mic. Don't wait on me anymore. Just unmute your mic and say a piece. Do we visit to say I approve of this message? Whatever it is. But let us all engage in the process. I because approve like of it. And anything else added to it is going to spoil the night. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Tamara. Tamara. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. All right. Let us, let us, um, Rhonda. I approve. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Tamara. That is this part of that. <laughs> well, Chris, right, no, you came at the right time. All right. Right time. Brilliant. Right time. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Good night, good night. Good night, good night, everyone. Let's go. Let's go, Sir Wendell Bob. All right, Gloria. Yes, good night. I've been rethinking my position and I'm sick and tired of where I am. So I'm in for it. Awesome, 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 awesome. Rosalind. Sir Chris, I'm excited about this, even though I just came in because I was doing business on this street, and that is good. Awesome, 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 awesome. Tani, you can always unmute. Tani, you can always unmute. You can always unmute. Go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good night, everyone. Good night. I joined, I joined late, but I know you said it all, Christopher. What I love about this business is I have time for my family. Right now, I have a client doing so i love this business awesome awesome That's awesome good. awesome thank you thank you you are proving ready up 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 well hey listen if buffy camp is ready i don't need to say that ready ready this is oh, right. two times i need to two months and I'm ready, 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 ready. Let's Listen go. Listen to that, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Global Stars. Yes, sir, Christopher. Are you hearing me? Uh, Loud and clear. Loud and clear. All right. Good. I really, I really enjoy what you are saying. I'm committed to the 90 days plan. There's a song that I normally sing, Where He May Lead Me, I Will Go. I put you in front, my brother. I'm, I'm with you. Awesome. To God be the glory, sir. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go on, star. Stop. Yes, I'm here. Greetings to everyone again. I must say I'm committed to this 90 days. Um, actually, to be honest, I am in a, a networking industry before for this one. You know, I think it's like a month and odd now. Yes. And I've been in the other one for a few months, only per month, where I have to pay some extra money every month and all that. But I must say, for the small amount of time that I've been in this, I make some money. I didn't even realize, know that this was possible so easily and so quickly. You know, and I'm grateful and thankful for this opportunity. Yeah. And with, with and I'm so committed to this 90 days. 